BBC R5 presenter Rachel Burden challenged Tory Minister Chris Philp as he suggested the expansion of the universal credit type and the rise in the minimum wage as benefits of Brexit. The BBC Radio 5 Live presenter argued both universal credit and the minimum wage could have been raised without Britain having to leave the European Union. As Mr Philp pointed out the extra money no longer being sent to Brussels after Brexit contributed to the hike. Ms. Burden questioned the economic impact overall of quitting the bloc. The Tory minister said, you mentioned the cost of living issues, we're about to put up the minimum wage to £9.50 an hour. I think it's a significant increase, well above the rate of inflation. We're extending the universal credit type so people on low incomes will have £1,000 a year extra. Ms. Burden said, you could have done all of that without Brexit, you know. That's not a direct consequence from Brexit. Mr. Philp hit back, the universal credit thing, that costs money. So the £10 billion a year extra helps fund the NHS. The BBC presenter cut in, what about the money we lost in trade to Europe? What about the damage to the economy overall? The Tory minister however pointed out IMF estimates suggested the UK will be the fastest growing economy among G7 members next year. But Ms. Burden noted, that's cause we took such a big dip in 2020. That's why our growth is higher this year, because it went down so much in 2020. However, Mr. Philp quickly shut down Ms. Burden's questioning as he noted raw factors considered to assess the state of the UK economy had shown positive signs about recovery following the pandemic. He said, that's not how I see it. Let's look at jobs. There are 400,000 extra on payroll jobs now compared to before the pandemic. Youth unemployment is at a record low so if you look at the raw economic indicators, all of which indicate an economy in robust, good health, and our plan is to power on further this year. In technology, last year, UK tech companies raised £29 billion in investment, that was Europe's leading figure. Germany was second, we got double the German figure, triple the French figure. We're leading Europe in technology.